I'd like to introduce you to my assistant. This is Maggie. She is a Frenchie that we got from a rescue. We've had her for three weeks. So she is here to help me talk about the introductory points. Today we're going to be talking about the opening points on the dog. These are great points because they are very powerful and they're non-invasive, but what they do is they create energy that flows down the dog from the cranial all the way down to the hips and through the spine. Um, I like to do these points ahead of time because any dogs that possibly are sensitive or the first time they've ever been used or they have an injury, this introduces the light to them so they can feel the energy. We use these points always before we do any kind of treatments and always after we do any kind of assessments. So to reiterate, these are great for any dogs that have a, a sensitivity or it's just the first time they ever use lights and we want to get them used to it. But the big thing is it puts them into what's called parasympathetic mode. So now they're ready to have any other kind of light work done to them. The other part that's really good about these points is they can be used if you have no other time to be able to take more time to do other type of work. So they're very powerful, they get things going, but you can just do these alone as a standalone treatment if you wanted to do so. If they are great points, they don't hurt them, they're non-invasive, but yet they're very, very powerful. First point we're going to look at for the opening points close up is GV14. So again, governing vessel, GV stands for governor, is the midline of the top of the dog. So we're going to run from the top of the head, middle of the neck, all the way down until we feel a hole right between the shoulder blades. That's the easiest way and that's the right between the T1 and T2 vertebra and you're, that hole it makes it's pretty easy to see. You're just going to put it on and find GB14. <laughs> the Bach Way is on the midline as well. And it's right between the end of the lumbar vertebra and the start of the sacral vertebra. So when you run your finger down, you're gonna find this deep depression and you can just run your finger and it'll fall into this hole between the two Otherwise, it's about, in him, about a hands width forward, and that's where you're going to put the light for the Bach way. GV26 is located right below the nose, right below the nose on the lip part itself. So it, when you look at a dog, so it's gonna be right here. Be careful, because you are working in a sensitive area. So what I like to do is I like to move my light either down or up to them and then just put it on so they'll stay still and do not hold them tight. Because if they feel like they're, they're being um, captured, they may you know, try and do something to get out. But just let it sit there and work on GV26. Good boy. In Tang, again, is in the center line right above uh, level with what we would call the eyebrows or above the eyelid or the orbital rim of the dog. Henry, sit. So it's going to be right in the center, right between. This is also another good point to use in a color of green. So right now we're just going to use red. And last point we're going to look at is stomach two. You're going to find the cantus of the corner of the eye and you're gonna find an indentation that kind of like your finger fits into right at the corner of the eye. The light is big enough that you put it on there. Don't put it in the eye, just have it down below. You'll find stomach two. And the other thing you can look at is that if you go from the corner of the eye to the corner of the nose, and that's your line you're gonna work on, and it's right below the eye in this indent that's here. That's stomach two. And it's on both sides of the dog. 